Uh, you, in your tweet, you have uh, at least two or two, three times quoted Mr. Uh, Kapil Sibyl or at least have uh, asked him certain questions. Let me ask you this, sir. Mr. Sibyl raised some questions on the brazen murder and called out the law and order situation in Uttar Pradesh. If the state police, which had the responsibility to protect these criminals going through a judicial process, no matter who they are and what they have done, he tweeted, and I'm reading, reading from his tweet, he said, Murders in Uttar Pradesh, Atik Ahmed and brother Ashraf and rule of law. How is this, as per you, Mr. Sibyl's attempt to portray these brothers as martyrs, sir? Well, the fact of the matter is uh, they were killed by three complete uh, strangers. Nobody knows who they are. There's an investigation going on. How can you portray them as martyrs? I mean, these people are certainly not martyrs. They have been, they, they are major mafiosi. They've killed uh, uh, witnesses in the case. They've, they've killed, uh, Mr. Mr. Sibyl talks about murder of democracy. These people, Atik Ahmed is responsible for the killing of an MP who won his seat. When he became an MP, his assembly seat was rendered vacant. And Atik and his family are involved in the murder of that MLA, Raju Pal. It is Pooja Pal, his wife, who has filed the FIR in which he is involved and which he is charge cheated. And by the way, murder of democracy, I will give you another example. In 2006, the prime witness in this very case in which he has been charge cheated, the prime witness, Umesh Pal, whom he, whom he, whom he had killed the other day through his son Asad, that prime witness who is a lawyer, was kidnapped in 2006 and forced to make a statement again saying that uh, Atik was not involved. What are we talking about murder of democracy? This has been going on under the, uh, under the nose of the, of the Samadwadi party government which has elected Mr. Kapil Sibal to the Rajya Sabha recently. What has happened to this man's criminal record of 100 FIRs? Who was responsible for all these years? Who was in power in, in UP up till 2015?